Do -de do 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 do. Welcome back to Digging Georgia. I know it's been a good long freaking minute, right? Um, it's still going over here. The same old, same old wintertime stuff. Nothing really out of the extraordinary. But we do have something going on in the fruit part of the Diggins yard. Uh, my loquat tree finally decided to bloom this year. We got some bees going around there. And it's pretty warm today because it just it rained. Surprisingly, all the other days are cold, but today's been, what, it's 70 something degrees. About to head out to Fort Pulaski. Uh, look at that, look at that weird looking uh, bee. pretty nice but they're pollinating today because i guess because it's warm and they, it's not cold and they can get out and do stuff but this is who another one look at that what is that this is the most pollinating i've seen so far since the tree's been uh blooming oh, they don't even care about it. look at ladybugs in there too oh ecosystem right right here in front of us well, that's pretty good hopefully get some uh fruit by april on this thing but you can smell it man you can just smell this the aroma from these trees it's, it's pretty amazing on oh, what a little tree can do with all its little flowers smelling them up the place around here um christmas time my, my one of my daughters she got me two loquat lemon trees lime key lime trees loquat version key lime loquat uh i can't remember the rest of it but they about this little not a regular size lime but they're size of a loquat basically <clears throat> the garden got some junk i gotta burn i ain't gonna burn that stuff I, the stuff i took out of the yard dogs been there ramp you know destroying crap so i gotta pick that out burn them leaves mix them to the ground get ready for spring here in a, another two months uh I, I organized the boxes like this um i'm gonna plant in the middle this year i really didn't like I don't know. There's just something about the box that didn't like. Uh, I just like I like the ground more than I like the boxes. So I had a okay season, but not anything too impressive. It, like, it might have been my worst season out of all of them. no bell peppers. Um, a lot of peppers I that I got didn't make it. Is either I don't know. Just something about it. It's, it's too cramped in, and it really couldn't get no growth. So <clears throat> I had to take a lot out. These two boxes, I actually planted some spring onions and what did I guess a walla walla or whatever. Nothing's come up. So, and that's with them um, so easy seeds. And not, I don't think they're too good because I didn't get nothing even during the summertime when I planted seeds. I didn't get nothing. So I'm not going to buy that, that kind no more. Um, my radishes daikon radishes my daughter got me these things they got me 3,000 seeds i still got plenty in the back in a bag but these are like 100 percent growth growing up pretty good i don't have to thin them out one more time maybe um the sun only lasts so so long and then all these cold days slow them down from the growth so who knows when they're gonna kick in so i'm take them a while maybe like the first time i planted them do a test they did a it took them a while to grow because it was a dead summer and this heat. But when it started getting colder, boom, they just made some two little radishes for me. But they're supposed to get big. So I don't, I don't know. They're big or not, the daikon radishes, right? But that's the garden right here. Got some plants coming up. This loquat tree, since we talked about the other one, he 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 hasn't done any kind of any kind of flowering yet. Maybe next year. But hopefully we get some out of that one too. That's like I, I say all the time. This is some good fruit. I'm planning on getting some plum trees. Maybe some grapes. I might do the grapes uh, along this. Something trying to dig in here. Look at that. Probably dogs or something. But I'm planning on, I might do some grapes. Plant the grapes here. Let them grow along this, this little old makeshift fence I made out of my old gate. Maybe not. I don't know. Might do it. Just do it. Do a line and grow them. But they got to have some. But I plan on doing my my plum trees right here. 
get rid of the pool this year coming up got some leaks in it on the side right here it's done had us years man it's done had it three or four years since covid first first dawn of covid and it's terrible looking that's i think i spend more money than i i put more money in it than myself in it I'm cleaning it so i keep the pump though pump's pretty good just in case we might get something little um <clears throat> Look around here, got these little, I can't remember what kind of, kind of, uh, I heard it's called tiger lilies or something, but they're probably not, but you see these long uh, people's yards sometimes, they grow up real high and they grow a flower at the top. Um, I started with a little clump. I had these for many years, two, probably 20 something years on the front. I decided to go and bring them back here so they soak up with this water this area gets. And uh, they do very good, trust me started right here and now they're going over here um so i'm trying to keep them contained i chop them down keep them contained uh i do have some ginger type flower uh, they're not like a flower but like a cone and they for like washing hair or some job like that ginger some kind of ginger stuff i have to look it up for you but um my brother has all around his yard around his house so i took some of that too and right now i got a stalk over here i moved some over here right here so i'm gonna probably i got a root out front too i'm gonna cultivate it some right here get it growing and split it apart because it goes to rhyme zones and all that stuff so it's not too too hard to split it apart uh got over here one more thing and besides chopping down trees this year coming up but Got another little tree. I think this is a jasmine my mother gave me. And it's growing pretty good now. Been inside. I didn't want to die from the frost. So come spring, I'll put it in the ground. It's hardening up pretty good. That's been keeping all these little nodules off. I don't keep that one because they want to they want to vine out. They'll start crawling all over the place. And usually they do little flowers that smell good. And this plant, probably my longest pothos. Um, but it's a pothos. I had, this is like offspring from the pothos. I, my daughter now has, I had it, the plant since she was born. And I told her, you know, when she had the kid, I'm going to give it to her to plant. So gave her the plant and, uh, I had a little, little sprig left and I put it in here and it's grown crazy. So now I'm bringing it out since it's hot today and, uh, and let it do its thing get some some more growth um i i've been keeping this one outside not inside that much um i brought it in you know like i said because of the frost and everything but this is this plant's over it's 25 years old it's, it's um offspring here from 25 years old actually this, this one's done better than all of them i want a long one hopefully i can get the leaves going pretty big this year i, I need to put some more feed in here Got some old eggs crushed up in there and stuff like that, but we see what we can do. But I got some other things coming up through the, through this year, you know, tidying up the yard, all that metal junk and tomato cages and old bikes and stuff like that. Clean that up. My oak tree over there, I'm gonna trim that up. I'm debating on this mimosa. I hate to let it go, but I think having a mimosa this close to the house is probably bad news for my shingles i got junk up there but uh these things they're they're you know they're evasive but you might as well call them down here in the south they're part of the south now they smell so good a good shade but i don't understand this little ant pile here so that leads me to want to probably get rid of it eventually along with my other one that's, that i have grown shoot man it's probably been 14 14 years or so this one i done cut some down last summer and i gotta get this rest this spring here um due to you see how that looks and they get old and they get bad and they keep healing though see the healing keep on healing and stuff like that so it's time to let it go it's been a good tree Here's the old uh, one of the stumps I put up here. Got some mushrooms on it. That's pretty cool looking. 
Huh. First time I've seen them kind of mushrooms. I'm not gonna touch them. <laughs> Almost like, look like shiitake mushrooms, don't it? But I might have said my oak tree. I got rid of them up a trash pile, finally. Last, that's the last bin that's going away. But with the oak tree, I want to get anything that's probably not going up. Oak tree, you want to look like a ball. Um, all these in and out kind of branches and stuff like that. You want to cut. You want everything going up, or you don't want it sagging, looking, looking like that. All that moss just ugly looking. So this would be good firewood to have for, you know, a little couple little fires or give it to the neighbor or whatever. He wanted some wood, so I might give it some, give some wood away if I got enough. But other than that, we get in the backyard, decent. Let it be back to green again and then back to hot again and. And we'd be back to this situation again. I say every year I would want to try to do <laughs> do a uh, collard green or cabbage garden. I just, I don't know. It's something that just blanks out for me. Usually I still have peppers in here and everything until the frost hits in like in November. And we had some bad frost this year. But uh, next, the next, this season I'll probably do something different to keep the this area a certain way. So... I can rotate to something else but in here i'm definitely going to do like um probably herbs and over there pick cucumbers over there again they did pretty well over there last year something else something i can deal with a good partial shade sunlight kind of deal but in the middle i want my peppers and i want uh i'll probably do squash in the bins i don't know squash didn't really do too good either so we'll figure out something squash does take, take up a lot of room when it does get going so, I don't know. I just feel like I'm limited right now with some space. I'll figure out something. I might do some squash over there in that little thing or stuff like that. I don't know yet. Ollie, Ollie, you ready to go? He's getting big. Look at him. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Pooping all over my yard. It's dog. He's a good dog. He's a good dog. Yes, you are. Hey, buddy. All right. I'll see y'all later and thanks for dropping by and see what I got coming up. Have a good uh, weekend and um, Happy New Year.